Hey, welcome back everyone. In this new lesson, I'm gonna show you how to use the push button as a toggle switch to turn on and off this LED. But if you didn't watch my previous video about the push button, make sure to check it out because we're going to need it for this tutorial. We're gonna change the code a bit to create a toggle switch. We'll be able to turn on this LED by pressing this push button and we can turn it off when we press it again. And before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon and let's jump right into it. So in this video, you will need a push button. Of course, you need an LED and the ohm resistor. And let's start by hooking up the push button, which we have talked about in the previous video. We are going to connect one lead to the GND of the Arduino and the other one to the digital pin, for example the pin number 2, so that we can read the digital value using the digital read command. So let me fix this push button on the breadboard. Then let's go from this GND pin to one of the leads. You could use any one of these two. Let's go to this one. And let's connect the other lead of the push button to one of the digital pins, I'm gonna use the pin number 2 then let's connect our LED to one of the digital pins I'm gonna use the pin number 8 then we need to add the ohm resistor to protect the LED and let's connect the longer leg of the LED to the other leg of the ohm resistor then we need to go back to the ground we have this GND pin, I'm gonna use it. You notice that the LED is turned on, and that's because I've already programmed this uh, board. We can go back to the Arduino IDE, and let's upload this empty sketch. First of all, we need to add few variables like the pin number 2 and 8 to control the LED and read the value from the push button using int and let's start with the push button I'm gonna call it button pin equals to then the LED pin equals 8 and under the setup function we need to use pin mode we're gonna use the button pin as an input so let's pass in input then we have this underscore pull up which means we read one when we are not pushing the button down and when we hold it down it will return zero and we've talked about that in the previous video then let's add another pin mode we are going to use the LED pin as an output Now we can use the digital read command. First, let me add few lines. And if you use the digital read command, this takes the button pin and it returns one or zero. We can hold it in another variable. I'm gonna call it read value. Then let's use read value equals this command then we can check if the read value equals 1 we can turn the LED on using the digital write command LED pin then high otherwise we turn the LED off using digital write LED pin then low and this is the script that we have created in the previous video, if we upload it. And you notice that the LED is turned on by default, and that's because we are reading one when we are not holding the push button. That's why we have turned the LED on, and if we push it down, you see that the LED is off. Maybe we need to change this to zero, if the read value equals zero, we are going to turn it on, otherwise we turn it off. And that's the code that we have used in the previous video. But in this video, we need to make it as a toggle switch. When we press the push button, 
we need to turn the LED on, then we can turn it off when we press it again. And to do that, we will change the code a bit. Basically, we need to check if we have pressed the push button. That means that we have read 1 and the previous value equals 0. That means we need to create two variables, one that stores the old value and another one that stores the new value. And if the new value equals 1 and the previous one equals 0, that means we have pressed the push button. In that case, we are going to turn the LED on. So we need to add another variable. I'm going to use this one as the new value. And let's add another one. I'm going to call it old value. You could also change this one to new value. Then make sure to change it here as well. Then we can check if the new value equals 1 using if, if the new value equals 1 and the old value equals 0. That means we have pressed the push button. In such case, we are going to turn our LED on using digital write. It takes the LED pin, then high. So this is called the end operator. Basically, it returns true when these conditions are true. So if the new value equals 1, and at the same time, the old value equals 0. In that case, we can turn our LED on. And before we upload the code, we need to initialize this old value. So let's give it a default value, which is 1, because by default, the push button is not pressed, so it returns 1. Then at the end of the loop function, we need to change our old value to the new value. And that's all what we need. So let's upload the code. Then if I press this button, you see that the LED is on. But if I press it again, it's not turned off. And that's because we are not checking for that. We are only checking if we have pressed the push button, we are turning the LED on. But we need to turn it off when we press it again. And to do that, we need to know the current state of the LED. Basically, we can create another variable that stores the current state of the LED. And we can use string. And let's call it LED state. By default equals off. And this is a string. Make sure to add the codes. Now we can check if the LED state is off. We are going to turn it on. And if it's already on, we are going to turn the LED off. And to do that, we need to go back under the loop function. And under here, instead of turning the LED on, we need to check if the LED state equals off. In that case, we need to turn it on using the same command. And we need to update the LED state to on as well using LED state equals on. So when we press the push button again, the program will check if the LED state equals off, which is not the case when the LED state is on. So we need to add the else statement. So if the state of the LED is not off, that means it's on. We are going to turn it off using digital write. LED pin, then low, and because we have turned this LED off, we need to change its state using LED state equals off, and that's pretty much it. Now our push button will work as a toggle switch, so let's check it out. So by default, the LED is off. If we press the push button, you see it turns on, and if we press it again, it turns off. Now the push button works as a toggle switch, but sometimes it doesn't work. And that's because our program is so fast, so it can detect the new value and the old value at the same time. To fix this problem, we can add a delay using the delay function. 
and let's pass in 100 milliseconds and this is going to fix the problem let's upload the code again and there you go now we've created a toggle switch and it's working perfectly so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon i appreciate that and i will see you in the next video